Hello everyone, welcome to a new episode of Crafting with Cosplay Fabrics. My name is Indra and today I'm going to show you how to make this EVA foam shoulder piece. The first thing that I'm going to do is use just a regular piece of paper. You can also use scrap fabric or even a paper towel for this. And I'm just placing it over the shoulder and you can grab a friend or family member or you can also use a dress form to do this or you can do this on yourself in front of a mirror and I'm just placing the paper kind of getting it into the shape and marking where the roundmost part of the shoulder is and I'm marking also how I want the main shape of my pattern to be. I test this out several times with paper and I make sure that once I'm happy with it that I mark the top, the bottom, and as well as all the notches that I'm going to be needing for the pattern. Once I am happy with everything, then I transfer it onto foam. So for this piece, because it's a layered shoulder piece, I'm going to use that same pattern, but I'm going to cut about a third of it. Not completely like in half, but just making a slightly smaller pattern um, based on that main one and this is going to act as the bottom two layers of the shoulder piece and I mark that out making sure everything all the notches and everything is marked out and I just simply cut it out using an exacto blade to get a nice sharp edge once I have everything cut out I simply use some wax paper for easy cleanup and I'm using contact cement to put everything together I put glue on all of the edges that I want to be glued at first and I make sure that everything is lined up including all of the notches and I carefully stick everything together. I do wait until the glue is a little bit dry and tacky before I put these together that way it has the best hold. Once all my pieces are finished they should look kind of like this and I like to sort of test out before I keep going the placement of everything seeing if I need to cut anything or how I need to start heat shaping it and you can see that it's simply just kind of eyeballing it there's no real measuring or anything as long as it's looking nice so the next step is going to be heat shaping and what I do is just use a heat gun and I do this several times. I heat, I heat up the foam and I start folding it or bending it, sort of making it into the shapes that I want. I test it against my own shoulder or against a dress form. And once I'm happy with the main shape, then I heat the very edge of it and I start pinching and pulling a little bit. And as you can see, this creates that sort of curve like on the very lip of the um, edge and I do that on all of the pieces I continue to do that heating the main piece that way it's the main curve and then I do the very edge pinching it and that way I get that sort of uh, curve at the very very edge once I have all of that then I figure out my placement and I mark it using a metallic sharpie and what I like to do is also hold everything and create little notches that way I know exactly where it is that I'm going to need to glue that and I do that on the outer part and on the inside part and once I'm happy with it of course I continually test it and then I just use the same glue as before just contact cement and I then try to line up those pieces that I marked using all those notches and that's how it is. So the next part I'm going to just be detailing it and trying to make it a little bit nicer. So the armor that I want to do does have little studs in it so I'm going to be marking where I want those studs and I just kind of eyeballed it uh, as far as how far in I wanted it but then I did measure it and for this I'm simply using brads and I'm using two sizes for the main part I'm using these very small like these short ones and all you do is just insert it through the foam and then open up 
the little, um, like the T shape that it has and that way it lays completely flat. And it's very easy with the foam because it just pokes right through. For the more thicker parts, I do use the, the longer brats as you can see, but in order for that to all stay in place, I do want to create a little more um, structure and stability on the on the piece. So I'm using these shapes just out of two millimeter foam and um, I pattern it out and then I cut it out and I just glue it on using hot glue. That doesn't need to be anything crazy. More than anything is just to make sure that this is keeping all those brads in place. So now I'm going to cover all of those edges, those uh, joints that I have done with quick seal. And I'm just simply putting some on and then just using my fingers, I run it down and then using a wet paper towel, I try to smooth it all out. And you can do this several times, but that's it. And that is the main piece. I hope that you guys like this tutorial. Hope you like and subscribe. If you have any questions, please let me know. And I'll see you next week for another tip trick or tutorial featuring cosplay fabrics. Stay tuned for part two where I show you how I paint this. Bye-bye.